cryptocurrency, yeah, is now the the the, the biggest buzz words you can probably say right now to people. You know something is big when you got hood cats coming up to you talking <laughs> right. about, yo, you got this, you got this safe moon crypto. You got to get up on the safe moon crypto, dog. Uh, that's a new one. I'm like, <laughs> so you've always had an opinion about that, mm-hmm. especially, um, and you've given me some advice in, in, in my stock career. You know what I mean? And and when I say advice, I want to be clear. Vlad doesn't tell me what stocks to buy or anything like that. You know what I mean? His his uh his basic principle is buy it and don't try to sell it right away. Buy something you like and keep it. And so that's just for everybody out there like, yo, Vlad and Edie be talking about nah, it ain't like that. But you have given me advice. You know what I mean? I, I, and, I mean I, not not necessarily advice. I've said this is what I I do. Right. If you want to do something kind of similar, this is how you pretty much do it. And then Boom. you just go off on your own and do Boom. what you do. And, and I yeah. do what I do. Right. Your opinion on crypto, especially being somebody uh-huh. that kind of is able to see see waves and, you know what uh-huh. I mean? You're not big on this wave. I, my, I, my opinion on crypto is the same opinion I had when we spoke last time, which was about maybe two years ago. Mm-hmm. I think it, was, it was three years ago. Three years ago? I just went back and listened to that interview. Right. It in 2017. I think, I think it got up to about 20,000 at that point. Then it dropped to like maybe six. Mm-hmm. And then it started to go up. It got up to like 60,000. Then I think it's maybe a 50 or 40 now. Mm-hmm. Um, my opinion on crypto is exactly the same way. Uh, and that is, is that I still don't really see a particular value and advantage of using cryptocurrency over U.S. cash. When I see that and, you know, when and if that happens, my opinions will then have to be adjusted. But in 2021, uh, in May, it's essentially what it was back then. It was something that when a lot of people get excited over it, it goes up in value. Mm -hmm. And then when something bad happens around it, like, you know, Tesla deciding not to accept Bitcoin anymore and saying that they don't, you know, they're not going to promote the platform, you know, the Bitcoin platform because of how much energy it uses and what what effect it has on the planet. Right. Uh, Or when China decides that they're outlawing crypto in the entire country to focus mm. on their own digital currency, which is actually the reason why the big drop just happened. You know, those two things together, but more China than Elon Musk. You see you see massive drops of up to 50%. Mm-hmm. You know, will it go up, will it go down? I, I, I don't know, but the way I approach um, investment is just different because I'm not trying to get rich off my investments. You know, I'm, I'm trying to grow what I have already. And the way I look at it is I invest things that I see real value in and things that I use myself and so forth. When it gets to the point where I'm using crypto for everything and all my transactions, uh, I'll probably invest in some of it, mm-hmm. you know? And and when you really think about it, crypto is not supposed to be an investment anyways. It's supposed to be a form of currency. Right. So when people say invest in crypto, it's a bit of an oxymoron in a certain type of way, but I understand what it is. And that's my take on it. Okay. And so moving forward, we got the crypto thing and then we have the stock thing Mm -hmm. and moving like everybody out there paying attention right now, listening to this interview, it's not to influence any decision that you already have in your head. This is just two guys discussing how we feel about it. One funny thing we was talking about the other day was that I think Elon Musk did a joke on Saturday night live. Mm -hmm. And then the next day, yeah, he said Dogecoin is a hustle and then Dogecoin dropped like, Whatever. It's very 40%. volatile. Well, yeah, and and that that's the thing, right? You know, do you want to be invested in something that one person could massively affect? Mm-hmm. One human being who's not even part of whatever that is. Yeah. I can imagine if you know, if Jeff Bezos goes on you know, Saturday Night Live and says that Amazon is a scam or a hustle, then yeah, that kind of makes sense. He's the CEO of that company. Elon Musk is just a regular guy that may own some Dogecoin. So he goes and makes a joke about it, then wow. You know, like I said, I, I look at my my investments differently than someone else. I understand if you 
if you got 10,000 in your bank account and you're trying to see 100 and, and you're just trying to flip it into whatever times 10 right. quick money you can, then yeah, that, that that's going to be your, your path. Whenever I've done that, I've ended up losing everything. Mm-hmm. You know, so whenever I think of stuff like that, I think about my track record. And one thing that always stuck with me that you said to me, you said, Edie, the stock market never zeroed out. It never. drops, it's got a super low, yeah. but it's never zeroed out. The stock market as a whole. Companies have gone out of business. Yeah, the stock market the as world, a whole. WorldCom has gone out of business. Right. But all the tech, you know, that was pretty much it that year for anything on the Fortune 500. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. You know, because... Like I said, there, there's very much of a difference than investing in like a in gold versus investing into a company that's creating co- creating money every day. Okay. With the gold, you're hoping that tomorrow it's worth more than it was today because people want gold tomorrow. Right. But if gold goes out of style and everyone's rocking silver, then gold, you know, if all around the world, everyone's just rocking silver, then gold will ultimately go down in value. It has nothing to do with what it's generating because it's not gener- generating anything. But a company like a Google, ultimately, yeah, it'll it'll fluctuate during the course of the year based on the rest of the market. But every quarter when they release their earnings and they show how much they make and what their profit is, that's what really establishes the price. And that's what I look at. I look at things that create money. And if they're always creating money, ultimately, I feel that I will make money with that company over time. Pay attention, boys and girls. All right? <laughs>